we're making a video of the bearing inspector and the components that it's made up of in phase one. In phase two, we will perform a starting torque test, and in phase three, we will perform a running torque test. The system consists of three major components. A test head, the computer and control instrument, and the tooling for the product under test. <coughs> Many different transducers can be supplied to work with this system for different torque ranges. And to change the transducer, the cover lifts off. This, this device is loosened, and the transducer just lifts out. We unplug it, and you can put another transducer in, tighten it up, put the cover back on, and you're ready to test. The tooling has two elements, an ID tool and an OD tool. The OD tool provides the load that is des described in the specifications. We place the ID tool into the spindle, and we tighten the nut to hold it in place. We place the bearing we're going to test on the spindle. Then we place the load on, at which point in time the device is ready to perform a test. And we will now go on to phase one of the, phase two of the testing process. Now we're going to begin phase two of this, this video where we are actually going to perform a starting torque test. First thing the operator does is come over here to the screen and select file and select load configuration. And we're going to load the configuration that happens to be correct for this bearing that's on here, which is aftest.config. And we load that. And now we will go over here and we will zero the transducer, which point in time we're ready to perform a test. So we will go over here to the tooling and we will engage the transducer into the upper fixture. Go back to the screen and press the start button. Which point in time the transducer positions itself to zero and then it performs the first test. Now it is going to index 90 degrees. It will find zero again and perform another starting torque test. It's going to perform four tests, one <coughs> each 90 degrees apart, to determine what the starting torque of the bearing is. Once again, zeroing. Performing the test. Indexing to the next position. Zeroing. Performing the test. At the end of the test, the highest peak is displayed on the screen. That is how the system performs a starting torque test. We will now end and we will go on to phase three, which is going to be a running torque test in just a minute. Now we're going to perform phase three of this video, where we are actually going to perform a running torque test on the bearing. First we go to the screen and we select file once again and we select load configuration. And we will go up to the configuration we want to load which will be AF test. We will load that. Now we will go on the screen and zero the transducer. We will come over here and engage the tooling and we'll go back over here and tell it to start the test now it is going to drive 360 degrees in one direction turn around drive 360 degrees in the opposite direction and at the end of the test display the torque value measured in both directions
Now the graph of both directions is displayed on the screen. The transducer used to perform this test was a 0.05 ounce inch full scale device and as you can see most of the torques were in the area of 0.01 ounce inches. That is now the conclusion of phase three of this video.